Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about Whiff Box. This is the da, 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 August Whiff Box. It came last week. I was out of town for a few days, so we're going to talk about it today. Uh, down below, I will put the values in Canadian dollars and US dollars because it just gets too messy when I try to do it here and uh, messy enough as it is we don't need to add so anyway i've not even opened this guy yet i've not seen any other um whiff box videos i never ever watch whiff box videos because i like to be surprised just like it was christmas all right so let's uh dig into this puppy right here oh by the way no different story sorry uh Okay, I don't need a French version anyway. Usually on the top of every box, there's a little flyer. And here we have one talking about Huckleberry Hideaway. Well, that's the picture on the front. I don't know what it's talking about. Um, there is a catalog crossword in here. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, a word find. I used to do those all the time. Some coloring. Uh, I guess. Maybe that could be tic-tac-toe there. Yep, tic-tac-toe. And the blurb says, uh, as we launch the new catalog, the fall winter catalog is out now, we're also prepping for a seasonal transition. Here's a little fun kids for, here's a little fun for kids and sensi fanatics alike as we get ready to bring, hello, it's early. Let me start over. As we launch the new catalog, we're also prepping for a seasonal transition. Here's a little fun for kids and Sensi fanatics alike as we get ready for back to school and the season's last adventures. Grab your catalog for clues to help you win. Oh, so that's kind of fun actually. I would probably do that crossword puzzle and I would probably do the C combined. Uh, yep, okay. So in here we have a Mylar bag so we know what's in there. We have some Scentsy Pods in Autumn Road Trip. Oh, let me get my catalog so I can tell you the scent notes too. Uh, Autumn Road Trip is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's in here. Autumn Road Trip is, uh, take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just pick Anjou pear and a forest of towering silver oaks. I think, I know I've had it in wax before. I'm not sure if I still have one in my closet or not. The sun is acting weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, this is, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Definitely I'm getting the oak, <laughs> the woody oak note and pear. So that's really good. I'm going to enjoy that. And, um, okay, there we go. We have one of the new travel twists in Amazon Rain, which is a nice fresh scent. Set off on a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and jasmine. So these scent, these new travel twists, uh, if you're as old as I am, you remember the stick ups, I think they're called. I, I, I wanna say they were bigger than this, but same concept as far as the, the component. You twist it, and depending on how much you twist it uh, is how much scent you'll release. If you just want a little scent, you'll twist it a little. If you want a lot of scent, you'll open it all the way. So this is Amazon Rain. Oh, definitely, definitely I get the coconut milk right off the bat. Uh, a little bit of jasmine. So that is going to be good. I haven't used these yet, um, but I'm going to. I need to find a place to go. We have a uh, scent circle in black currant and plum. And this is uh, in the fruity section, maybe black currant and plum, dark plump, wild, bl dark plum, wild black currant and sweet apple. So I have melted this in the wax bar. And if I remember correctly, I believe I really enjoyed it. Because I, I remember saying that I got this, the tart note of the currant and the plum. So that's good to have. We have a body wash in Vanilla Waves. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's any scent notes to this. Let me look. Let me just look. 
I am waiting for um, my Harvest Collection order to come in. As soon as that comes in, we'll post it. Um, sea Salt, Whipped Vanilla, and Sticky Caramel. So I'm not going to open that because I have two shower gels going in the, bath in the bathroom now. In my bathroom. And... And a catalog. So how how cute is this? So if you do get the Whiff box and you already have a catalog or you need a catalog, here's a catalog. Share the catalog with a friend and my website as well. So that's always handy to have as well. So that is it. Oh, no, no, no. It's not it. Oh, my gosh. How can I forget about this? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay, so in the summer, if you don't know, they uh, wax comes in these Mylar bags and an ice pack. Now, of course, mine, not only is it melted, but it's warm because, it's, like I said, it's been here a few days. So, generally speaking, um, my ice packs come melted, but if I, if I open it, open the box the day I get it, it still might be cool in there. So, anyway... We have two samples of Perfect Day, and I'm not going to open them. This is Autumn Pear Spice Syrup and Bourbon, and I know I melted this on a Scentsy Saturday, so go back and check on Scentsy Saturday. And Huckleberry Hideaway has not been chosen yet. Or, well, this is going up Sunday. It might have been chosen yesterday. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but... Um, uh, 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 it's a new one. Back to the new, um, Huckleberry Hideaway. Fresh picked Huckleberry, Mountain Violet, and Crisp White Wood. So I'm really looking forward to melting this. So hopefully somebody chose it this week. And if not, well, I can always melt this. And then we have a full bar of Velvet Moon, which is so, so good. It was a toss up between Velvet Moon and Frosted Vanilla. One of them were going in my club. I wasn't, I thought about putting both in. It's like, no, I just don't need my club to grow and grow and grow. I need to edit. So Frosted Vanilla did go in my club, but this was a close, close second. It was a really difficult decision because this is really nice. Soft Vanilla Flower, White Musk and Foggy Mist. Oh gosh, this is so good. It almost also has to me a slight powdery note, um, uh, probably from I think the white musk, but it is so so good. Now this one compared to Frosted Vanilla, because somebody asked me on one of our Sensi Saturdays what the difference is between Velvet Moon and Frosted Vanilla when you write get down to brass tacks. What would you say the difference is? This one has more of a perfumey note from the vanilla flower, I think, and the white musk. The frosted vanilla doesn't really have that that perfume note. Frosted vanilla is sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. This is more of a fresh, that one's more of a fresh woodsy vanilla. This is slightly perfumey vanilla, but they're both very, very good. Very, very good. So I am really, really happy to get that. So, um, that is that, a uh, couple of announcements. Oh, why am I off center here? Uh, whatever. Um, so let's see. So the Harvest Collection is out. The Harry Potter Collection is out and, um, coming up on the 12th is Hocus Pocus Warmer. So if you're into Hocus Pocus, please check my website on the 12th. You'll be seeing uh, more announcements of that um, as the days go on. I'll, I'll post what it is in a picture of it. And um, I think that's all I have to say right now. I hope everybody's having a fabulous weekend. I am, and I will see you soon. Bye.